it's not roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I literally can't believe it's already Vlogmas Day 4. It's currently around 9. I got up around 7.30 ish, and I think I fell back to sleep till like 8. But I had to finish my FAFSA this morning, and um, that was just kind of stressful. So I was working on that for like the past like 30 minutes, and I just made some breakfast and took Ella out. As you all saw, I just scrambled up some eggs and made some coffee. My roommate and I are going to tour a potential place to live next year at 10, so I have to get ready here and very shortly for that. But before I do that, I'm going to eat my eggs, drink my coffee, and I'm going to make my thumbnail for yesterday's vlogmas. I have to import to the outro for yesterday's vlogmas and upload it real quick, but that shouldn't take too long. When I get back from touring the place, I plan on just studying and grinding it out because I still have two more chapters of marketing the outline and then I have to study them. And today's Monday, which means tomorrow's Tuesday, which means my test is tomorrow and I have class tonight. So I don't really have too, too much time, especially because I also need to be doing a little bit of finance, but it'll be okay. We will be fine. Hi guys. So I just got back from touring the place with Macy. It's around 1030 and it was nice. We really liked it. Um, it would have been really convenient because like the bottom floor had one bedroom and the top floor had two so it would have been really good for Macy and her parents to have like the top floor and then me to have the bottom floor because basically the room on the bottom floor had access to outside but it was like it didn't go out to like a public area it went to like a fenced in area which would be so so convenient for me to take Ella out like straight from my bedroom and not have to wake anyone up like taking her through the living room and stuff and it was nice but I when I looked at like on Trulia like the crime reports and everything because you can do that like based on the area um it wasn't the safest area so I don't like that we're just like a lot of reports of theft and everything and I was like eh, not a fan so we don't really know what we're gonna do but we have to figure it out like this week so we're probably gonna end up staying here honestly also if y'all are curious what I wore to go see the place I just wore this USA shirt from Romway and then these leggings are Lululemon shoes are white cloud foam adidas and then my jacket is from Shein which you all will see in my Cyber Monday haul soon which I'm excited to film I'm gonna be filming it sometime this week and it's actually super comfy furry on the outside but it's also furry on the inside which I love and it's like a cropped jacket and I was really really wanting like a athleisure style type of jacket that I could throw on over like my workout tank tops and stuff for whenever it's cold outside and I'm going to work out because like I hate when I have to go outside in my workout like tank tops and t-shirts and stuff and freeze while I walk in the gym and it's just a lot more convenient than having to put on like a sweatshirt so I think this is super cute and I was thinking of like it would be cute with like just a sports bra underneath like zipped up too just for like lounging around the house but super comfy highly recommend Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. So it's around 1.30 now and I've been totally grinding it out since whenever I last checked in. Um, I did one full chapter of outlining marketing and now I'm on my last one, thankfully. I still have like 20 pages left of it though, so that sucks. Got me Chick-fil-A! There's no honey mustard in it, I'm sorry. Yay, I asked for a kid's meal though. Why does it matter? Whatever you want I didn't, well I'm gonna eat all of it now, I just didn't want to get, yeah. you know what I mean? Because it's bad for me. Okay, so much for eating healthy. Finals, dead week, it's fine. So as I just saw, Griffin brought me Chick-fil-A. I was literally in the middle of filming the clip before the one where I was showing the Chick-fil-A. And he walked in and brought it to me because I was telling him how hungry I was earlier. And he was in the Chick-fil-A line. So he decided to get me some, which was very nice. So I'm about to take a break again because I haven't studied since before I ate. Because once I got done eating, I went over and picked up a package I had. And then I went ahead and just renewed my lease here. I talked to my roommate and I was like, Let's just renew because we're not going to find a house anywhere that's like affordable and in the location we want and is not going to have problems with it. And we're just tired of looking because we have both looked at literally every rental that's available in the city of Tuscaloosa. So we're tired of it. But the good news is that our rent is going down pretty significantly. 
next year, which I'm very happy about. And also because we are one of like the first 12 people to resign, we're getting a gift at some point. I don't know when, but apparently they're nice gifts. The leasing office was telling me that like they're giving out Alexas and stuff, which is kind of crazy. So I'm excited for that, but I think I'm gonna go to Publix because I said I wasn't gonna go to the store earlier, but I literally don't have anything here. Like I have some chicken and I'm probably actually about to put that in the crock pot for tonight, even though I don't wanna eat chicken now because I just had Chick-fil-A. But I went on my Publix app to like look at any BOGO things they were having in terms of like snacks or breakfast foods. And they literally are having a BOGO on the best stuff. They're on the skinless chicken breast, which is like the kind I always get. And they're having a BOGO on Talenti Gelato, which is like my favorite. BOGO on Special K cereals, Special K cereal bars, um, BOGO butter, um, frozen veggies, spaghetti sauce, Thomas bagels, and even more. So I'm gonna go and stock up on some BOGO things just to get me through this week because I don't feel like cooking a lot of this week. And if I just get some chicken and freeze it, I can just pull it out and make it one night if I don't feel like spending money on food. So that's gonna be the plan. This song is so good. Baby, Made it to Publix. So just dropped off something at the post office to ship for Poshmark and I'm about to head back to my place now. It's around 2.50. I went to Publix, got some good deals. I ended up not getting chicken because I started thinking about it and I was like, I've eaten so much chicken recently. I'm honestly tired of it. And I'm just gonna plan on probably eating out um, some of this week for the days I don't have food left over from last week. Or I'll just go to the store and get things as I need them because I would rather do that than spend money and then have to throw them away because when it's finals week and dev week, you don't really know what you're gonna be doing. So I just got back from Publix. There's Macy. <laughs> The a lot of cereal was buy one get one free and I had a hard time deciding what they get But I got the special K protein because it didn't have a lot of sugar in it And this fills me up and it was buy one get one free and Then I got this one which is also cinnamon clearly I'm craving some kind of like cinnamon toast crunch type of thing And those are also buy one get one free And then Starbucks iced coffee was two for nine and I know I'll be drinking a lot of coffee So I figured it'd be good to have ice because it's a lot more convenient And that's basically just getting a dollar off and then these frozen vegetables were buy one get one free and I thought they would also be convenient for this week so I wouldn't have to wash and cut all my broccoli and take time to do that. And they were buy one get one free and then I got strawberries and why did I get straw? Why did I get strawberries? Because I got other yogurt. Okay, whatever. The, this yogurt was four for six. I've tried it before in a vlog and it's really, really good. I got two mang peach mangoes, a vanilla and a strawberry. And then these were buy one get one free. So I got the... I've had these before, the pretzel chocolate. They're really good, and they really don't have that much sugar in them. And this one surprisingly doesn't either for cereal bars, but I just kind of got stuff that I thought would be good for finals week, so yeah. And I also got two sweet potatoes because they were two for three. So I'm getting dinner ready, and I basically just put chicken in this little skillet thing and put oregano and garlic salt and pepper in a little bowl and rubbed it on the chicken breast, and then it's gonna go in there with butter lemon garlic and chicken stock and it's gonna cook in there and then i'll be able to eat it when i get back from class around seven ish i promise i'm going to get a different car mount by the end of this week on amazon i'm tired of having to like set my camera in awkward places and just have to deal with the falling but i'm gonna get one that actually works but i'm on my way to class now i'm running late and i just made some coffee at home since i knew i would probably be running late and since i had iced coffee now um, I just made some iced coffee to take with me. And then I also grabbed one of the little pretzel and dark chocolate snack bars that I got from Publix. And it is such a wintry day out. Like, it's not that cold. It's like, it says it's 65, but I don't believe that because it's like freezing when I go outside to me. But it's so nice. It has only been sunny one day this week. So weird. Black frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering. Hi guys, so it's about an hour and a half later, I don't really know, but I had a really short class today. It was like hardly a, even an hour, and my professor did curve my test 12 points, or I curved all of our tests 12 points, so instead of having a 58, I have a 70, yay. But my final is next Thursday, so I do have a, wait, no, it's next Wednesday, so I have a while to study for it, but I also have two on Thursday, 
and luckily if you've been watching my vlogs for at least the past like two or three weeks you know that um i thought i did really good on that test but he gave us like the wrong study guides and everything so i've actually technically already studied for the final once so i should statistically speaking do better on it and also because he said that the final is actually the easiest material so i'm hoping i can at least get an a on it since my other test grade is an 82 in there and i don't know i just really want an a in that class because i don't want my gpa to get messed up from class that doesn't even count towards my major anymore so i don't know our only we're literally gonna have two grades in the class which i think is absurd like what class only gives you two grades i'm not kidding like there's no attendance grade no homework grade it's literally two tests bunch of crap in my opinion but i am thankful he at least curves some and stuff i guess i have to look at it on the bright side so like maybe i can get a 90 and then with the curve maybe that'll be like a 10 point curve and i can get an 100 that would be nice but it's so hard to do good on his test because literally like half the questions are true false and true false are like so confusing to me they like mess with my head and i start like overthinking them and i really just need to think of them like straightforwardly but i'm going home now and i'm going to eat dinner it's only 6 20 which is so nice because i was expecting to get out of class at like 7. so i decided to give ella a bath real quick just because she was getting a little stinky and her hair is so like pretty and everything whenever i bathe her and it looks so just like clean and shiny she has a really good coat also, I'm washing my bath mats because I accidentally got shampoo all over one of them when I was bathing her. Also, I did the dishes and unloaded them whenever I was cooking my sweet potato. And this is in the microwave right now, and Griffin's going to come over here and eat soon, so I'm waiting on him to get here to make his potato. He kind of, like, split the groceries with me this week because we're trying to eat healthy together. And then here's the chicken. It smells really, really good. I added a lot more chicken broth than the recipe said, and honestly, this whole recipe, I just kind of winged it, and I didn't really follow. It's me and Abby. We're out here, headed to Chick-fil-A right now. Wait, where'd the Christmas why music are we, get? Why are we heading to Chick-fil-A? Because I want a milkshake. You want some, I'm not getting a milkshake, because I'm not cheating. Oh, that wasn't even on my face. She's getting a milkshake. I'm not. Because I'm paying for it, so she's getting a milkshake. So we went to Chick-fil-A, it was closed. Then we are gonna go to Fresh Market to get cookie dough and or Halo Top, and it was closed. Where did we go after that? It was Publix. We went to Publix, second time today. We got cinnamon rolls. We got the Annie's organic ones. They were buying them, great. And, no. Yeah, it is. No. And then I got edible cookie dough because I'm terrible eating healthy, and he got ice cream and chocolate milk, yay. Rock. And now we're home, and I'm gonna finish studying, so is he. And I have finished editing Vlogmas, I only have a tiny bit left. And then, gonna eat some cookie dough. Gonna be a great time. It's unlocked. The grat tent. Hey y'all, so it's literally midnight now, and I've been sitting here typing on my computer. I'm condensing my marketing outline, but if you think about it, I outlined 150 pages, or around 150 pages, give or take like 10 pages. But I outlined that much of it over like this whole weekend and everything. And I'm sitting here trying to condense it and I'm on my seventh page and it's just a lot. Not writing as many de definitions and stuff, but kind of like just having a better flow of information and then plan on studying it in the morning. I don't feel very ready for this test, but a lot of this stuff is very self-explanatory. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off the vlog because I'm literally so tired and I need to go to bed as soon as I'm done with this, but I still have to shower and everything. Thank y'all for watching today's vlog. I'm it's probably so long and I'm so sorry about that. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.